Hey everybody, IHW here. Um, it's been a while since I've actually done a reptile room. Well, I'm kind of late for making it this month. But I'm going to start now, and uh, yeah, let's get started. Um, just needed to unplug that, and that was really loud and annoying. So at the top here was my baby leopard gecko tank. It's a 15 gallon tall, with a uh, custom background and plexiglass sheets that I put on myself. Um, I already sold the leopard gecko here, so this is kind of empty and useless, but there's also another tank right here. Um, I'll uh, show you guys really quickly. So right here, this is my Farbella Newt F uh, tank. This is like uh, basically a one gallon, um, also known as juvenile newts. These are basically Farbella Newts that are unmature and they live entirely on land. In fact, if you keep them in water three centimeters or more, they're going to drown. So. These guys have to be on land. Um, I'm going to open the tank for you guys so you can see them. Okay, so I took off the little strange lid. Some of you may think this is a weird tank. Um, this is actually a display case from a model shop that I actually bought. Drilled a bunch of holes in here for ventilation and uh, basically turned it into a little mini terrarium. So as you can see, I have quite a few little ceramic things. I got this from like a little pond store that sells a bunch of tiny little stuff so I just bought a bunch it looks pretty cool um, I also have a bunch of moss I'll zoom in for you guys to see some moss here um, little mini fern some plants uh, water bowl obviously um, the substrate is paper towels obviously um, I wouldn't recommend using anything else uh, for fire belly needs these guys are very small as you can see and they will get lost very easily um, it's also a lot cleaner to keep it uh, on paper towels. So as you can see, this is my finger. These guys are very small, only about three centimeters. So they're very, very puny little guys, and they eat puny little food, and they have puny poop. So um, I have about five in here in total. I have one of them that's at four centimeters, which was my first to metamorph. Uh, his name is Philip. The way I can tell them from each other is basically Philip has a little heart shape on his neck, and that's the only way I can tell them apart. Um, the others, they all have different patterning, um, not really similar to their parents up there, which I'll show in a bit. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll show up the yellow belly. Um, if there's a, okay, this one has an orange belly. Let me just uh, try to. Okay, so I'll show you his belly. So here's the little guy. It's not even doing anything. This is an orange belly one. Most of mine have uh, yellow bellies. Try to find one. Okay. Okay, this guy right here, as you can see, uh, has a little yellow belly. Some have orange, surprisingly, but they're only supposed to get it as they grow, so I'm surprised that some already have it. Um, so, yeah, those are those guys. There's three more in the hides. I can't show you right now, and I'll get on with the other stuff. So, in here, this is my custom leopard gecko tank. I made everything myself, basically. Um, the, pe the plexiglass sheets, I also made the railings. Um, you can see the hide, the fake rock background, um, basically everything I made myself, those pay up the tissues right there, it's basically my toilet system, system for them, because they poop in there and then I clean it up, and they only poop in one spot, so it's pretty convenient having it there. Um, I have my little bowl here, it's supposed to be mealworms, mealworms, and then calcium, but I don't have any more mealworms right now because they kind of ate it. There's one of my geckos right here, eh, not going to come out. Um, so yeah, I have quite a bit of plants here. There's my light. It's basically a the light from like one of these tanks, which I took apart, and I have that left over, which I don't use, and I just screwed it into the top here. Um, so I have a water bowl. You can see there's a hide right here. Um, it's connected by magnets, so it just clicks right in. It's pretty solid. And this is my sort of a moist hide under the heater, which I can... Uh, pull out and both my geckos are in here I believe because it's quite heavy okay so here it is just basically a container which I glued the front on and uh, I can sort of open this up okay with one hand it's not working out very well let me try again okay. so I opened the lid and you can see here are my geckos this is my male aptor who's getting pretty fat and this is my uh, normal female, I named Cookie. And this guy's Crumble. Cookie Crumble, yeah, I know. So here they are in their moist hide. I'm going to have to spray it. It's not that moist anymore. But 
yeah, I'll do that later. So these are my two geckos. Um, he's not as tame as the other one, but he's a very cool gecko. He's awesome. Here's a cookie. Uh, they don't seem to like me right now, so I'll put them back in their cage and I'll show you my fire belly new tank. Okay, so I put the hide back, and now to put the leopard geckos back in their uh, tank. Go. And the other one. Oh my gosh. He's a little hard to handle. Okay, you, you go there. So there they go into the hides as always. And I'll close this. So yeah, um, that was that. So here at the next uh, level, as you can see, is my 5-gallon Firebelly Newt tank. Um, I've breeded my Firebelly Newts twice now. Um, and up there, those are the babies of the adults in here. So if I can find one, uh, they like to hide a lot. So there's one right there. Um, I'm not sure which one that is. All I can see is the tail. Uh, so here's the whole tank. Let me just try to clean this condensation this tank in here is very humid so it's pretty good for newts as you can see I have a little turtle dock um, well I have a lot of stuff in here uh, it's kinda hard to explain I also have a filter which I turned off at the beginning of the video um, I have a few water bugs in here as you can see there's a water bowman swimming around and a uh, aquatic snail my thermometer um, I have a whole lot in here, even tadpoles, like, I bought the tadpoles, or I found them, I was gonna feed them to my newts, but apparently they got established here, and are living, and eating all my algae, which is a plus. Um, I have three adult newts in here, two big females, and one male, um, who are all hiding, sadly, if only they'd come out and I could show you, but yeah, this is pretty much my adult newt tank, I'm very proud of it, it looks awesome. Um, in here is an extra tank uh, for herps, like if I go herping and I find a salamander or something, I'd keep them in here. Take some pictures and videos and then uh, put them back in the wild. So, yeah, it's pretty much this. Nothing special. Down here is where all the action is. So, as you can see, I have three salamander larvae in here, another salamander larvae in here, three more there, and one more here. I also have a 40 tadpoles right there, and about... 11 fireball newt larvae in here so I have quite a few things here um, I'll start over here these are my fireball newt larvae I still have a bunch that haven't metamorphed yet um, so about five in here there's actually a lot more in here because I when I was collecting the eggs to raise them I missed a few so there are some that live in here um, I have sold us a, uh, a couple not that many mostly the metamorph one not the larvae so yeah, that's them. I feed them blood worms, tube effects worms, um, mosquito larvae, anything really that can fit in their mouths. Um, and here is a special salamander larvae. This guy is pretty cool, I found from the pond. Um, he was this uh, see-through yellow with black speckles on his tail, so I wanted to see what he'd grow up into. I have a few more. These are black, almost like my newt, but they are slightly larger. And back there, as you know, are tons of tadpoles uh, you probably wouldn't be interested in that um, I'll show this this is actually a sea monkey tank believe it or not um, I had sea monkeys a while ago but they all died sadly so here are the salamander larvae you can see I have three small little guys in here um, and so yeah that was pretty much everything here this is just a random container for keeping extra newts if I need it so yeah that is pretty much all my pets at the moment. Um, I have a bunch of pets that just come and go from herping and stuff. So yeah, there's my whole shelf with a bunch of stuff. Mostly amphibians and uh, other stuff like that. Not really reptiles, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Whoa. This is uh, my tiny little baby noodle on my finger. Very small little guy. Now go put him back before he start does a leap of faith.